Hi everyone, it's Abby here. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to download and set up your new 2025 to 2026 mid-year weekly and daily planner. This version of our planner features the same fun and functional updates from our 2025 weekly and daily planner, but it runs from July 2025 to June 2026. In it, you get three beautiful colorways to choose from, an updated digital guide page and index page to make navigation effortless, monthly goals, monthly wellness, and monthly reflection pages, a quarters of the year section to help you break down your year into more manageable parts, 45 templates for you to duplicate and insert anywhere into your planner, covering everything from productivity to wellness, lifestyle, and finances, there when you need them to help you stay grounded and organized, sections pages to help you organize your added pages, add to calendar and reminders integration, a ton of cool stickers, interchangeable covers, and more. Let's start by getting all of your digital files onto your device. Then once everything's set up, I'll walk you through how the planner is structured and how it all works together. Feel free to adjust the speed of this video to your liking. I'll be demonstrating everything on my iPad using the app GoodNotes. Our planners are PDF templates with hyperlinks throughout the planner, so this will work on any device and app that allows you to edit PDFs and click on hyperlinks. Okay, so first, make sure you already have GoodNotes or your preferred note-taking app and the Files app installed. Then when you click the download link in your email, you'll be taken to our Send Owl page. You have five downloads available. So after you click download, it might feel like nothing's happening, but don't keep clicking. The file is downloading in the background. You can check the top right corner of your screen or head to your files app and your downloads folder to find it. Okay, pro tip though, save the file to a cloud storage app like iCloud or Dropbox so you can access it across all your devices or just to keep handy so you never lose it. You'll need to unzip your file before you can use it. Just tap the zip file or long press and select uncompress. Inside, you'll find a readme file with all these steps written out in case you need a refresher later on. Okay, now once unzipped, tap on your planner file, tap the share icon and select open in GoodNotes. You can also open GoodNotes or your note-taking app of choice directly and use their import feature. From here, we can go ahead and set up your calendars and reminder shortcut. Inside your planner, head to the digital guide page and click this button. Tap set up shortcut, select your note-taking app, and then tap add shortcut. We'll come back to how this works a little later, but this step sets everything up so you're ready to go. Next, let's get your stickers set up. So head back to your files app and open the stickers folder. Let's start with a digital icons and tracker sticker pack. If you're using GoodNotes, go ahead and click on the GoodNotes folder. Now this is important. These are just previews of the stickers. You will not be importing these into GoodNotes. These dot collection files need to be imported into the GoodNotes elements tool for you to be able to use them in the GoodNotes app. So to import to the elements tool, you're going to open GoodNotes and tap the elements tool. Tap on the screen, then swipe left to the plus icon. Split your screen with your files app and then drag in the dot collection file. Just tap create and then repeat this for each dot collection file. Now, whenever you want to use these, you would just tap on your elements tool, tap on the page and then select the sticker from your created collection. Now the 2025 exclusive sticker pack helps you customize your planner with different headers, time slots, time blocking, inserts, and our scrapbook style stickers. Go into each folder and import them into your GoodNotes elements tool as previously shown. Now, if you're using an app other than GoodNotes, 
open the non-GoodNotes folder. All stickers are included as PNG files. I like using Split View with my note-taking app. And my files app open so I can just drag and drop them easily into my planner. Now with this planner, you have access to our 30 previously released digital planner covers, plus eight new designs. To switch your planner cover, open the covers folder in split view with GoodNotes, drag and drop your favorite design over the existing one in your planner. If that feature isn't available, just tap the share icon, copy, and then paste it into your planner using the lasso or image tool. All right, now that everything is imported and ready to go, let's walk through the core parts of your planner and how everything flows together. There's a digital guide page at the beginning of this planner that helps explain how the planner is set up and answers most of our most frequently asked questions. We have an index page that lays out all the different sections and pages in your planner. These are all hyperlinked so you can easily navigate to them. You'll start with intro pages designed to help you set your intentions for the year. From there, you'll move into your monthly, weekly, and daily layouts, all linked together so navigation feels seamless. You'll also notice three small icons that appear throughout your planning pages. These give you quick access to your monthly goals, monthly wellness, and monthly reflection pages, here to help you check in with them whenever you need to. You can also find these pages under the new Quarters tab. The Quarters tab allows you to split up and plan your year by quarters, including a quarters overview and goals page, and a place to track your habits. This is great if you're into the 12 week year. And finally, you'll see quick link icons on your tabs that take you directly to your template index so everything you need stays close at hand. Now to use the hyperlinks in your planner, you can tap the pen icon to turn on read only mode in GoodNotes. Or if you're using the updated version of GoodNotes, you can simply tap links with your finger. Just make sure you're not using the elements text or photo tool. If you're using an app other than GoodNotes, you'll need to find out that specific app's way of clicking on hyperlinks. It could be a hand icon you click, or you might be able to just tap on the links with your finger. The tabs are hyperlinked to specific sections of your planner. The month tabs will take you to their monthly layout, and then you can click on the week numbers to get to their weekly layout, or on the dates themselves to get to their daily layout. On each weekly layout, you can click on the month name on this mini calendar to get back to the monthly layout, and each of these weeks are hyperlinked to their respective layout. You can click on the dates to get to their daily layout, and each of these dates on the daily layouts are hyperlinked as well. And as requested, we've now included a back to week button on each daily page, making it super easy to return to your weekly overview. You can also use the three icon shortcuts at any time to jump to your monthly goals, wellness, or reflection pages. So if you're ever feeling lost, just click on the month tab, the week that you're on, and then the date that you're on. And I also just like to bookmark each of these for easy access as well. Now in the back of your planner, you'll find 45 templates plus 10 notebook style pages, all designed for you to duplicate and use wherever and whenever you need them. Want to create a bingo challenge every month? Go for it. You can just copy any template and insert it into your planner as many times as you'd like, whether it's for a specific day, a weekly routine, or a monthly goal. Now to add a template or any of the pages of the planner, just tap on the three dots in the top right corner, click copy page, and then navigate to where you want to add it. Tap the plus icon and then click paste page. To quickly duplicate the page that you're currently on, just tap the plus icon and then click current template. This is how you'll bring any of the templates from the back of your planner into your weekly or daily layouts or other parts of the planner. 
Now I like to think of the sections index and section pages like dividers in a binder. You can use them to organize your duplicated templates or layouts. This is perfect for grouping any notes you have or trackers, schedules, or custom pages that you use. Okay, now let's circle back to the calendar and reminder shortcut we set up earlier. If you're using Apple Calendar or Reminders, just tap on the Apple icon tab. It'll prompt you to create a new event in your Apple Calendar or add a task to your Reminders app. If you're using Google Calendar, you can tap on the Google icon instead. This is a great way to stay on top of deadlines, assignments, and personal tasks, all while keeping your planner as your main planning hub. And that's it. You're all set up and ready to start planning your best year yet. If you want a closer look at all the planner features and layouts, you can always check out the Best Digital Planner of 2025 YouTube video where we walk through everything in more detail and show you how to make the most of each section of your planner. Thank you so much for watching and happy planning!